Hi, I'm Dave, Fell Running Guide. Today I'm having a look at the grid reference function on the Coros Apex Pro watch. So originally Coros didn't offer this function on their watches, but they have updated their firmware and now you can get the, get the function. This is the Coros Apex Pro watch on the left and I'm comparing it with the Garmin Phoenix 5 on the right. Garmin have offered this grid reference feature on their watches for uh, some years. So if you look at the watch on the right, the Garmin, you'll see that the location is given by a 10 figure grid reference but it's prefixed by the letters SK. Now that tells us which 100 kilometer grid square we're in and you'll find that SK on Auden survey maps. The BNG just stands for British National Grid. So the 10 figure grid reference there is 32819 eight two six four two but if you look at the Coros watch we don't have the letters we've got an extra digit so we've got four three two eight two zero three eight two six four three so those initial digits the four and the three they give us a distance in hundreds of meters from a fixed point off the southwest of England and we don't need that level of detail to find it on the Ordnance Survey or Harvey map. So we can forget that first digit, which would give us simply 32820, and then we forget the three, and we've got 82644. So you see both the Coros and the Garmin give very close, accurate uh, 10 figure grid references. Now on the Garmin, you can set it as a, a data screen, so you can just scroll through and you'll find that grid reference on whatever screen you choose to put it on. With the Coros, it's a bit more complicated. You can't have it on a data screen. You need to find it in the settings. I'll show you how to do that now. So I'm out doing a hike. And this is with the Garmin. That's given me time and distance. And I press down. I've chosen that on my data screen, so that's my grid reference. On the Coros, again I'm doing a hike, that's my time and distance, but to get to the grid reference what you need to do is go and find it in the settings. So I need to press this bottom button, no, I need to press and hold actually, and then scroll through until you find that the compass setting and then you need to press press again and that's your grid reference so a bit harder to find on the Coros and if you're not used to doing that frequently you might forget how to do it um, but it is there you can actually set it as a hot key so I'll show you that so I've set long press on the top button as a hotkey straight to my compass and there you go Press that, and there it is so that is the grid reference function on the Coros Apex Pro comparing it with the function on the Garmin it's a useful navigation feature but it doesn't mean that you don't need to have map and compass skills so there might be times when you've got a poor GPS signal. So for example, you may be in a forest or surrounded by steep cliffs and that would give you a, a false grid reference reading. So don't rely on it solely for navigating. Learn how to use map and compass. So hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching.